After managing to escape from the barren spies at the so-called haunted house, Marion was more determined than ever to be fighting fit, in readiness for the renewed fight against Alwyn. She practiced every morning, and imagining the Baron standing there in front of her was all the encouragement she needed. For days now, part of Baron Alwyn's castle had been shrouded in secrecy. Behind the screens, work was continuing on one of the Baron's secret projects. Nobody knew what it was, but it was sure to spell trouble for Robin and the others. Even Bishop Hartford was left in the dark. I know old Big Nose is up to something, but I just don't know what. I've got better things to do than worry about his new toys. The fool's blown up half the castle! Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, and what's going on? What on earth are you up to? A device of my own making, Hartford. Look, it's the latest and most powerful addition to my arsenal. Ah! This weapon can spread fire and destruction over a wide area, and there is nothing that can stop it. <laughs> this is your last chance, Dixon. Open up now before I get angry. In the name of Baron Alwyn, I command you to open up. We'll never give in. Go and tell Baron Alwyn we'd rather die. You may get your wish sooner than you think, Dixon. The Baron has been waiting for someone to test his new weapon against, and it's gonna be you! Ha! You'll never be able to transport something as big as the fire-eating dragon to this part of the forest. Maybe not. But the weapon I'm talking about is a lot easier to carry and just as deadly. So's ours! Fire! You have until tomorrow to clear out, Dixon. If you don't, it'll be worse for you and for your family. Come on, men, let's go. Yeah, we did it, Daddy! <laughs> yes, son, we did it. But they'll be back, and next time it won't be so easy. I understand that, but our family have lived on this spot for years. We're not about to give in to some jumped-up Baron. If it were only the Baron we were fighting against, there'd be no problem, but I don't like the sound of this new weapon of his. So what? The Baron can't scare us, right, Daddy? We'll fight him whatever he throws at us and we'll win, won't we? Look, Jack, I think it's better you leave here and go and stay with your grandfather. Huh? Come on now, hurry while there's time. But I don't want to go. I want to stay here and fight with you and with my brothers. You have to go. You'll be in danger here. But I can fight as well as you can. You can't. It's dangerous for you to stay here. You're still only a child. Now why don't you be a good boy and do as you're told? I don't wanna! I wanna stay here with you! <laughs> Poor Jack! I have to send him away. It's for his own good. We'll have to fight Alwyn alone. Meanwhile, in the forest, Robin was looking for Marion, who was, as usual, practicing with her sword getting ready for the time when she would face Baron Alwyn. Gilbert. Gilbert, if only I could fight the way that you did. Use my sword the way that you use yours. Then I could take Alwyn. Ha! Yeah! Ha! seem to get through to Marion these days. All she wants to do is practice her sword fighting. She seems possessed, not like her old self. Marion! Ha! 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 Huh? Whoa! Marion! Huh? Robin? I just came down to tell you that lunch is all ready. Fine. You okay? I'm fine, Robin. 
Hey, Robin! Robin, you down there? Come on, show yourself! I wonder what little John wants. Robin, I ain't got all day! What's the problem, little John? I've someone to see you. We found him wandering around the forest looking lost. He thought I was Robin. He said he'd say what he had to say to Robin and to nobody else, so he's all yours. Well, what can I do for you? You're the one responsible for my family being thrown off their land. What? You made Alwyn so mad he's picking on us farmers now. If we lose our home, it's your fault. But why is the Baron going to take away your home? It all started when he raised the taxes. And after that, anyone who couldn't pay the new rate was thrown off their land. My father tried to stick up for his neighbors. He's very proud of our family name, so he decided to fight the Baron, and he'll fight him, whatever the consequences. What a story. I suppose he's gonna fight him alone, huh? You bet he will. Just, they said the Baron's gonna try and test his new weapon against us. What new weapon? They wouldn't say. All we know is that they can move it about really easily, and it's very destructive. I wanted to stay and fight, but my dad... All of this is because of you! If you hadn't made Baron Alwyn mad, he wouldn't be trying to kick us off our land! So I want to know what you're going to do about it! Are you going to help me or not? I ain't scared of you, big guy! Take it easy, Jack. Now why don't you show us the way to your father's place? Huh? Robin, you sure? If this has got something to do with Baron Alwyn, then it's something to do with us. These people have no one else to defend them. It's what my father would have done. I see what you mean. I'm coming with you. Why should you have all the fun? We're coming too. Huh? huh? You're coming, Little John? Right? You bet. I want to come along too. Marion, please stay here. You're not the only ones who have a score to settle with Baron Alwyn. I want to come with you. Sorry, Marion, but no. I can look after myself. Marion. Listen, why don't you let her come? She's proved she can look after herself. Sure, and the more there are of us on this trip, the better, right? I'm not gonna be left on my own again, am I? Don't worry, Jenny. I'll be staying with you this time. Gee, thanks a lot, Winnie. Right, let's get going. We don't want to waste any more time. Much, go and round up the others. Tell them we're leaving straight away. Come on! Move it! Tell me, Baron, are those farmers still holding your soldiers at bay? At the moment. But my new weapon will help them change their minds. Of course, they'll never be able to pay the high taxes you demand of them, which means they will have to forfeit all their property and possessions to you. So I suppose it's heads you win and tails they lose. And when I destroy them, it will serve as a lesson to people who defy me. Baron! Baron, oh, something's gone wrong! What did you say? The farmers have got some brats helping them out. What? Ha! Let's go! Ah! 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 Hello, Father. Jack, you little fool, I told you to stay away! Ow! I wanted to stay and fight like you! You can't. I told you, you'll just be in the way. I want to be in the way, Daddy! I can fight just as well as my brothers! I told you no! This is a job for men, not boys. Don't be too hard on him, Mr. Dixon. Huh? It's not entirely his fault. And who might you be? He's Robin. Huh? Baron Alwyn's enemy. You must be the Huntington boy. Mm-hmm. And I am John the Great! The greatest outlaw chief that ever drew breath! And I am Much, his faithful right-hand man! And, and we're, we're the, the outlaws. outlaws! Huh? I don't understand. It's simple. We came here to fight with you. What? I don't know what to say. Maybe we do stand a chance. Get a move on, fellas. They'll soon be here. 
Huh. Looks like we'll get no help from the neighbors. Well, what are they doing that for? They're too scared to have anything to do with us. They don't want to get Alwyn angry by taking sides. <laughs> what did you want to go and do that for? Huh. He's just testing out my new brand mark, Great John the Third. And when we capture Alwyn's new weapon, we're gonna stamp it on the side. So all that stuff about you helping us was just an excuse. Of course it was, you idiot. We're bandits, remember? That's right, Chief. You tell him. Dad, it's Baron Alwyn's soldiers. They're coming, they're coming. Hey, <laughs> so that's Baron Alwyn's secret weapon. Hey, listen up, you guys. Let's hear it. Ready to fight? Yeah! Alwyn, I'm ready for you this time. Dixon, there is still time for you to change your mind and accept my generous offer. Your farm for your life. If you want to take this farm, you're going to have to do it over my dead body. I was born and raised in Nottingham, and I'm not about to give in a scum like you. So why don't you get out of here while you're still in one piece? Very brave for a man who has the lives of three sons at stake. <sighs> I have been patient enough, and now you will suffer. Mr. Dixon? Leave this to me, Robin. Alwyn, even if I gave up this farm, I knew I couldn't trust you. You're nothing but a lying, thieving cheat. Just the sort of language I'd expect from a pig farmer. My family have lived on this land for generations. In all that time, we've never had to deal with filthy, lying scum like you. Launch the attack! <laughs> <laughs> idea how to wipe the smile off of Baron Alwyn's face. you will die. You're beaten. Now why don't you go home and leave these people in peace? My dear boy, you're not serious. <laughs> the fun is just beginning. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to the Dragon's Claws, a weapon of devastating power and absolutely invincible construction. <laughs> it also looks rather pretty, don't you think? <laughs> Well, it sure is impressive looking. A great thing to have on our side, Chief. Ain't it? Does look kind of big, though. If 
only I could cut that rope. you take that That was just the appetizer. The main course is still to come. I think you'll like this dish, although it's rather hot. Prepare the fireball! Baron Alwyn! Huh? No! Marion! It's all right. He's mine. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Well, 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 the noble Princess Lancaster dressed up like a criminal. You're really letting the side down mixing with these thugs, my dear. Just remember, little girl, I could crush you like an insect any time I like. After all, what could you possibly do about it? <laughs> You fool, just get out of the way! Daddy! <laughs> this will teach you and your brats not to interfere with my plans. Oh, when? Farewell. John the Third. Marion. Oh, Marion. You're okay. She must have just fainted. I'm glad Marion's well. Robin, you have to leave here. You helped us beat Baron Alwyn, and I shall never be able to thank you enough. Don't worry about us. We have a safe place to go. Hey, Robin. There's nothing more for us to do around here, so we're all gonna go back if you wanna come with us. Come on, boys! Come on, Robin, let's go. Mm, sure. Once again, I'd like to thank you for all your help. I don't know how we would have managed without you. God bless and good luck from all of us, especially Jack. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's go, Robin. Some great weapon that turned out to be. Supposed to be invincible, and it blew up in his face. <laughs> You're right, Chief. It was all talk. There never was an indestructible weapon. Hmm. There's still something I don't understand about all this. Why did it blow up like that? 
Robin, what happened to Marion out there? Poor Marion. She fainted, Will. Will. What is it? Listen, you go ahead. Huh? I have to go back and see if I can find out what Alwyn's up to. Robin! My machine! It's impossible. It was indestructible. You men there, put that fire out immediately. Oh, my beautiful machine. Oh, Robin. Robin. I'll get you one day. Robin. Oh, Robin. Oh, my machine. In the next episode, Robin has a narrow escape from some of Baron Alwyn's undercover guards, all thanks to a bit of divine intervention in the shape of a mysterious stranger who happens to be visiting Nottingham. As well as being mysterious, she is also very beautiful, a fact that Robin can't help but notice. But just who is she? She gives Robin a gift of a lucky charm, the kind of lucky charm that could save his life.